Well, hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make vegan chorizo. Cue the music. So much for being here. Like I said, today we're making vegan chorizo. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are for this. We have one package of firm tofu, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of chili sauce, and two tablespoons of a neutral oil for frying. All right, let's start mixing it up. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to drain and kind of press our tofu to get all the water out of it. So what I'm doing is I got a bowl with a sieve, colander, whatever. You just put that tofu right in there. And I got a bowl of chilies on here that's got some weight to it. I'm just going to set that on top of there, let some of that water drain out. All right, I got some of that water out of there now. So it'll be much easier to process this and make it what we want it to make see the amount of liquid that comes out of that so I'm just gonna drop that into the sink dry the bowl out completely put our tofu right there and then using your hands you just want to crumble this up now you may be asking why can't I just use the tofu that's already crumbled up well the only reason I can see is because that tofu that's already crumbled up has got a ton of water in it and it'll take forever to get that out. This way, we've saved one step. So, all of our tofu is crumbled up. Then we're gonna take our dry ingredients. We're gonna incorporate those well into all of this. Like that, as you can see. Then we're going to take our wet ingredients. Kind of why I wear a glove, I can just do this without having to find a spatula. And then I can just take the gloves off. Take all your wet ingredients, mix those up in there as well. It smells interesting. Take my gloves off. There's our mixture. Let's head over to our frying pan. All right, we got our mise en place. We have our chorizo, vegan chorizo mixture right there. Our oil for frying, our pan, and our spatula. I'm gonna set up on this pan here and we will begin to cook. All right, we got our shot now. I'm gonna turn our pan on to high, medium high heat. Make sure that's where we want it. I'm gonna add our oil. And we're gonna let this pan get hot, 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 hot. What we want to do is we want this, this chorizo to hit this pan and start searing and, and getting color to it because we're not going to stir this up. We're just going to let it cook and then we're going to flip it over, but we'll get to that when we get to it. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit in just to see what it does. Yep. Get that noise going. The heat is on. And I'm cooking all of this. If you want to just cook a little bit of it at a time. That is entirely up to you. This will keep for up to a week, I'm sure, in a container. But let's, like I said, we're not mixing it. I just want to kind of press this down into the pan and let that, I want to get it brown on one side. I want it to crisp up and let those sugars caramelize and get that color to change. So we're just going to leave this like this. All right, let's check and see what we've got here. Okay, it is colorful on one side. So I'm going to do my best to flip all this over evenly. It smells fantastic. Granted, this isn't like the meat version of chorizo, but I'm betting this is going to taste really, really good. So as you see, I have taken a lot of it out of the pan and I put it over here back into the bowl. Uh, it's better to cook it into small batches. I've never made this before, just so you know. 
Um, it's better to cook it into small batches so you can easily flip it over. You can almost always do a pan flip on this. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter if it all comes over beautifully and like a pancake, but I want to I want to show you for uh, viewers at home just how to do it, and it's easier to do it in small batches. So we're letting this cook, get brown, change the color, and then we'll flip it over in just a few minutes. All right, so I've got it into small batches. There we go. The color is beautiful. There's really nothing in here holding it together like an egg because this is vegan and I'm not sure I want to get into the whole discussion regarding veganism. Maybe I'll just call it meatless chorizo. Let's call it meatless chorizo so we're not getting into that discussion. Um, but I want to just keep browning it. There's nothing in here that's raw that you have to worry about with any kind of foodborne illness or cross-contamination. Um, but it, it's essential that it, the color changes and it's cooked evenly throughout. So I'm just going to make sure that I get all of these little particles in here to turn color in the cooking process. But this is what it looks like. It smells fantastic. I have got my set over there ready for pictures. So I'm going to toot off right now, add another element into this, take some pictures of it, and we'll come back and we'll taste this. really good. It smells fantastic like I said. It's got some uh, looks like chorizo to me. It looks like it. Go ahead and break that egg yolk. We'll see that beautiful shot there. Kind of mix some of this up and we'll go in for the bite. It's very good. Flavors there. Got a little bit of heat. Texture is wonderful. Uh, I would have crisped it even more than we did in our pan. Maybe use a uh, cast iron skillet to give it a really nice crisp to it. But uh, the flavor is really wonderful. It goes well for breakfast. You can use this in tacos, burritos, all kinds of different kinds of applications. The same thing you would use regular chorizo as a filler for different kinds of sandwiches and wraps. But uh, yeah, this is really good. Take one more bite. Wonderful. Meatless, meatless chorizo. We changed the name because I'm not going to satisfy everybody by putting vegan chorizo in there because there's so many different kinds of veganism. I don't want to offend anybody and I don't want to say the wrong thing that I'll get corrected on down in the comment section. So, meatless, meatless. And I'll even try to put it in the title. So, this is really good. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. The recipe is going to be on my website, www.itsonlyfood.biz. It's only food.biz. Go there, check it out. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye.